Hello everyone, this is Al Red Sox Fan coming to you from Al Red Sox Fan YouTube channel. Hope all is well. Just finishing watching a wonderful wrestling uh, stream by Sports Time Machine. That's Mr. Utah Mike. The uh, Please check out that. It was the WWF against the NWA, I believe it was. Oh, uh, Starcade versus WrestleMania. Really fun stuff using uh, a card and dice wrestling game game for the PC. So, all right, we're going to continue with our Tony Canigliero rookie year uh, replay, retro replay, using Out of the Park Baseball 20. And it will be the Red Sox versus the Yankees, Time Machine, June 16th, 1964. At the ballpark, we have Midwest Sports. He says, hey, I love this game. It's a fun game. Check out Midwest Sports channel. Um, so let's get to the lineups and play some baseball close that out for the visiting boston red sox who i play as dalton jones will lead off play second base tony canigliero bats second he's in left field these are as played lineups and pitching carl yastrzemski bats third in center field dick stewart dr strangeglove the cleanup hitter batting fourth playing first base batting fifth lee thomas he's in right field Frank Malzone patrols the hot corner for the Red Sox, and he's batting sixth. <clears throat> Eddie Brassou's at short. He bats seventh. Batting eighth, doing the catching, is Russ Nixon. On the mound, batting ninth, is Dave Moorhead, slightly tired. Moorhead has a record of four and five in the replay with a 5.67 earned run average. For the New York Yankees of 1964, leading off Tony Kubek. And he is at short, batting second, the second baseman, Bobby Richardson. The Mick, Mickey Mantle, bats third in center field, and he's hot as a pistol, as you can see the flame. Batting fourth, Roger Maris in right field. Tom Tresh is also quite in fuego, bats fifth, bat, uh, bats fifth playing left field. Joe Pepitone's at first, batting sixth. Johnny Doc Blanchard's doing the catching, and he'll bat seventh. Phil Lintz is at third base, and he'll bat eighth. Jim Boughton will bat ninth and do the pitching. And Jerry Mathers as the Beaver. Boughton in the replay is 3-7 and seven with a 4.01 earned run average. <clears throat> Let's start the ball game. And then I will move the video of me calling the game to the proper location. As the ball game should come up in a moment. <clears throat> and once again, we're using Out of the Park Baseball 20. And we're at Yankee Stadium. And let's go to OBS and move me down here, I guess. I guess we go over here. Should be good over here. All righty. <clears throat> so Dalton Jones to lead things off. Johnny Blanchard behind the plate. Five out of ten defensive uh, arm. And his defensive catcher range, five out of ten. Lintz is seven out of ten at third. Kubek is excellent, 10 out of 10 at short. Bobby Richardson, no slouch at second, 7 out of 10. And Joe Pepitone, 6 out of 10 at first. Tom Tresh, 8 out of 10 defensive range, 9 out of 10 arm and left. Mickey Mantle, as he ages, his range has gone below average at 4 out of 10, but his arm's still there, 8 out of 10. Roger Maris, outstanding at right, 8 out of 10 for range and arm. Here's Dalton Jones. Jones is a left-handed pull hitter. <clears throat> Playing second base so far, batting 275 for the Red Sox in our replay. Two homers and 10 ribbies. Below average contact, average power, and an average eye. Boughton, quality of pitches, below average. Control is average. and uh, Movement is average. Control is excellent. Overall, 8 out of 10 against left-handed batters, 7 out of 10. Dalton Jones loves to swing early. 296 batting average off the first pitch. Bouton deals to Dalton Jones. 1-0 count to Dalton Jones. Pitch homeward bound. There it is. 
And Dalton Jones rips that ball down to Pepitone. He backhands it, takes it to the bag himself. One away. Uh, yes, and this is actually the more modern stadium. Uh, as every time there's an update, it changes to the modern. You can actually have the classic stadiums, which I will switch back to later. But yes, this is Yankee Stadium. They do a beautiful job. Once again, we have at the ballpark Midwest Sports. Please check out that channel. Thank you very much. All right, one away, and here comes Tony Canigliaro, the rookie from Massachusetts. Tony C batting 291, 13 homers, 28 ribbies. Right-handed pull hitter against uh, against right-handed pitching, 6 out of 10 contact. Excellent power, 8 out of 10. His eye above average, 6 out of 10. He, too, loves to swing early in the count. Johnny Doc Blanchard sets the target, the pitch to Canigliaro. He swings at the first offering, and Canigliero grounds it to short. Kubek has it, fires to first, two down. Carl Ustremski steps to the plate. Yeah, he's playing center field. Batting 272, five homers, 32 ribbies. Seven out of 10 contact, six out of 10 power, eight out of 10 eye, left-handed normal hitter. Yaz likes to work the count more, as you see, batting 143 early on in the count. The pitch from Boughton. Ustremski taking ball one. He tried to get him a chase. Yaz doesn't. One ball, no strikes. Infield, outfield, straight away and normal for the Yankees. Yeah, Ustremski ahead in the count. Bats 359. He's given the green light. Blanchard wiggles the fingers. The pitch to Yaz. On the 1 0, Ustremski swings. And that's ripped down the left field line. Could be extra bases. Tresh digs it out. Here's the relay throw. Not in time. Ustremski slides in safely. With a two-out double, the Red Sox are in business. And that brings up Dr. Strange Glove, Dick Stewart. 265, 17 homers, and 41 ribbies. Against right-handed pitching, above-average contact, good power, but a below-average eye, Dr. Strange Glove will go chasing, and he loves to swing early in the count. Runners in scoring position, batting 267. Boughton peeks over his shoulder towards Yastrzemski. Now he deals to Stewart. 1-1 one, one count to Dr. Strange Glove. Stewart swings, sends that ball deep down the left field line. Tresh on the run. He wins. Not going to get there. It's going to roll to the wall. And 1-0 Red Sox on the two-out double by Stewart. So back-to-back -back doubles with two outs produce fruit. Boston's up 1-0. Here comes Lee Thomas acquired in a trade as we're playing as played transaction. Six is across the board for contact, power, and eye. Thomas also likes to swing early in the count, batting 333 off that first pitch strike if he likes it. 266 overall, nine homers and 28 ribbies. Dick Stewart, well, he's as slow as a turtle running in mud at second. Here's the pitch to Thomas. Full count to Thomas. Thomas swings base hit up the middle. Will they wave Stewart on? Mickey Mantle has a cannon. Here's the throw. Oh, it's cut off. They threw to the cutoff, man. Stewart scores as he comes racing around third base to home plate. 2-0 Red Sox. Boughton's on the ropes with two outs. Lee Thomas is at first clapping his hands as he knocks in a run. And here comes Frank Malzone, Red Sox third baseman, batting 297, six homers, 31 ribbies. Fives across the board for contact, power, and eye. He's two for four off Boughton. So far in this year, batting 321 off that first pitch strike if he lights it. Malzone has the green light. Blanchard sets the target. Boughton kicks and deals. Malzone swings, and that's our shot to left, right center. And going first to third is Thomas. Here's the throw from Mantle, and he is safe. So runners on the corners. The Red Sox doing damage with two outs. And here comes Eddie Brassou. How do you do? Red Sox shortstop batting 275, 9 homers, and 21 ribbies. Above average contact, 7 out of 10. 6 out of 10 power, 7 out of 10 eye. Right-handed pull hitter. Runners in scoring position. He has struggled, though, only 182. 1 for 4 off Boughton. Likes to hit early in the count. Malzone at first, Thomas at third, two outs, two nothing Red Sox. Here's the pitch to Eddie Bursu. Full count to Bursu. How do you do? And Eddie Bursu rips a shot right center field gap. That's going to grab some wall. One run scores. Will they wave? They're going to wave him around. And two runs score. So the Red Sox are thumping the Yankees at the moment. It's 4 nothing. 
as Malzone scored all the way from first, not known for his speed on the Eddie Pursue two-out double he's driven into. All this damage with two outs against Boughton. Todd B's at the ballpark here. As he says, rest in peace, Jim Boughton. Yep, he just passed away a couple weeks ago, correct? And he wrote Ball 4. That's a very uh, famous book. Here comes Russ Nixon. Nixon doing the catching. 250, one homer, four ribbies. Below average contact and power, 4 out of 10. I is average, 5 out of 10. Pursues at second. Nixon hitting 400 off the first pitch. First time he's facing Boughton this year. Runners in scoring position, only 167. Bouton looking for that third out to get out of this inning. He deals to Russ Nixon. Ball four. And Bouton is all over the place. Those were four consecutive balls, but they probably pitched very carefully to him because the pitcher, Dave Moorhead's on deck. The Red Sox send their ninth batter in the top of the first to the plate. Moorhead batting 136, no homers, no ribbies. He's going to take. Pursue hopes to hit the... Uh, Bouton hits the strike zone. Yes, he does. Off-speed pitch. Moorhead looks down to third base. Back in the box now. Pursue and Nixon on the base paths. Johnny Blanchard sets the target. The pitch to Moorhead. 2-2 two -two count to Moorhead. Swing and a miss. Strike three. But the damage is done with two outs. The Red Sox whacking away with two doubles and a single. Three doubles, excuse me. Pursue doubled. Knock in four. We go to the bottom of the first. Four nothing Boston. Do up for the Yankees. Kulbeck, Richardson, and Mantle. On the mound is Dave Moorhead. Moorhead, as we stated earlier, 4-5 and five with a 5.67 earned run average. Quality of pitches, 7 out of 10. Movement, 7 out of 10. He struggles with control, though. He's walked 55 and struck out 55. Only 3 out of 10 for control. Stamina, 8 out of 10, and he's a bit fatigued. Nixon behind the plate, 6 out of 10 catching arm, 6 out of 10 defense. Malzone. And Brasseau on the left side, above average, 6 out of 10. Malzone at third, Brasseau at short. On the right side, not so good. Dalton Jones and Dr. Strangeglove, Dick Stewart, they're both 3 out of 10 at second and first. Tony Canigliero, 6 out of 10 range in left, 9 out of 10 arm. Yastrzemski, 8 out of 10 range in center, 10 out of 10 arm. And Lee Thomas, 7 out of 10 range, 10 out of 10 arm. So the defensive outfield for the Red Sox is quite good. Kubek batting. For the Yankees, 176. It's been a struggle so far in the replay. Three homers, 11 ribbies. Average contact and power. Below average eye, 4 out of 10. He is a left-handed pull hitter. The Red Sox infield will go hard shift right. As you see, Mal Zone playing the shortstop position in pursue to the right of the second base bag. Here's the pitch to Kubek for more head. Inside, ground ball into the shift. Brousseau has it. He throws to Stewart. One down. Now bring up Bobby Richardson batting 237. No home runs, eight ribbies. Above average contact, six out of ten. But power and eye, three out of ten. Right-handed spray hitter. He'll use the whole field. Moorhead nods his head. He deals to Bobby Richardson. 3-0 count. Ball four. So Moorhead, that's where that control comes into play. He's now walked 56. And that brings up Mickey Mantle. One swing of the bat, and Mantle can cut this lead in half. Mike, the Indians card dude, is in the ballpark. Hope all is well. Check out that channel. Thank you for joining us. So here's Mickey Mantle. 270, 13 homers, 22 ribbies. Tremendous contact, power, and eye. 8 for contact, 9 for power, and 10 for eye. Likes to hit early in the count. Here's the pitch to the Mick. Red Sox hoping to turn two up the middle. And we will go into double play depth as Bursu and Jones pinch the middle. Pitch homeward bound to Mantle. 3-2 count to Mick. Mickey Mantle. And he lines out to Bursu who fires back to first. Did they get him? No. Nice play by Eddie Bursu taking a hit away from Mantle. And that will bring up Roger Maris. Try to double up. Bobby Richardson at first, but Richardson got back. 
Maris, 248, three homers, 14 ribbies. 7 out of 10 contact, 8 out of 10 power, 7 out of 10 eye. Left-handed spray hitter. He likes to hit early in the count. Moorhead peaks to first. Now he deals to Maris. Maris swings at the first offering. Base hit past the dive of Dalton Jones. Here's the throw. Oh, Yastrzemski would have gunned out Richardson by 10 miles. Richardson thought better of it and headed back to second. So two outs, two on for Tom Tresh. Tresh batting 282, 11 home runs and 37 ribbies. 5 out of 10 contact, 6 out of 10 power, 8 out of 10 eye. Moorhead rubs up the baseball. The windup and the pitch to Tresh. Two outs, two on. And he strikes him out looking. So Moorhead picks up his 56th strikeout of the year. And the Yankees strand two. After one complete 4 nothing Boston. Bouton back up on the mound. Gave up four runs with two outs. Top of the order. Red Sox sent nine batters to the plate. In the top of the first, it's Dalton Jones, Tony Canigliaro, and Carly Yastrzemski. Deja vu all over again. Here's the pitch to Dalton Jones. 0-2 count on Jones. Strike and he three. goes down looking. As a Yankee fan says, the bat's for swinging, son. So one out and no one's on. Here's Tony Canigliaro. He is 0 for 1. Infield is normal for the Yankees, but the outfield shifts left. Tony C. looking to grip and rip. Johnny Doc Blanchard sets the target. The pitch to Canigliero. 1-0 count. Canigliero ahead in the count. Swings. And that's a ground ball to Kubek at shirt. He gobbles it up and throws to Pepitone. Two down. Center fielder Carl Yastrzemski strides the plate. He is one for one. He doubled with two outs to start the four-run rally in the top of the first. Yaz likes to work the count. Here's the pitch. Yastrzemski taking. That looked outside and... Oh, wow! Yaz didn't like that call. They're going to say it hit the lower portion of the outside strike zone. Yastrzemski doesn't know about that. 0-1 count. Bats 266 behind in the count. Infield, outfield, straight away and normal for the Yankees. Bouton nods his head. The windup and the pitch to Yastrzemski. 3-1 count. Hitters count. Ball four. So Yastrzemski's on again. This time with a walk. That brings up Dick Stewart. He doubled knocking in a run. He's one for one. Now has 42 ribbies. Two for five off Bouton. Yastrzemski, three out of ten speed, seven out of ten stealing ability. Pepitone holding him on. Bouton peaks to first. Now looks in at Blanchard. He rocks and deals to Dr. Strangelove. Dick Stewart, one, two, count. Stewart in the hole. Stewart grounds it. Kubek throws to Richardson. They force Yastrzemski, and the side is retired. Bottom of the second, 4-0 Boston. Do up for the Yankees, Pepitone, Blanchard, and Lentz. Move my second screen a little bit closer. Joe Pepitone batting 220, three home runs, 21 ribbies. 5 out of 10 contact, 7 out of 10 power. He will chase 2 out of 10 eye. Moorhead's going to gamble here, try to go with the pitch around, which just means can he get Pepitone to reach? Nixon sets the target, the pitch to Pepitone. Full count to Joe Pepitone. And he sends that ball high to center field. Yastrzemski moving to his right a bit. He makes the catch, so Pepitone reaches with the bat. As he expands the strike zone and flies out to Yastrzemski in center. That brings up Johnny Doc Blanchard. Blanchard, 127, 4 homers, 7 ribbies, 4 out of 10 contact, 6 out of 10 power, 6 out of 10 eye. Left-handed pull hitter. Red Sox employ the hard shift right in the infield. <clears throat> Again, Malzone moved to the shortstop position and he pursued just to the right of the second base back. Here's the pitch to Blanchard. 1-1 count to Johnny Doc Blanchard. And he grounds it back to Moorhead. It's going to be a tough play. He throws to Stewart, and they get him. Two outs, and the number eight batter, the third baseman, Phil Lintz, batting 190, no homers, six ribbies. 
average contact, below average power, but a very good eye, 7 out of 10. Moorhead deals quickly to Lintz. Lintz likes to use the whole field. He'll ground it to Dalton Jones on two hops. He throws to Stewart. And one, two, three, go the Yankees. We're through two, four, nothing. Red Sox here in the Bronx. <clears throat> Due up for the Red Sox, Thomas Malzone in pursuit to face Jim Bouton. Lee Thomas is one for one. He's knocked in a run. He awaits the Bouton offering. Pitch homeward bound. Thomas swings the lumber, and that's a base hit to right past the dive of Richardson. He's two for two. How do you do, Lee Thomas? He's saying fine. <clears throat> Poor speed, two out of ten, but if he gets a jump, Eight out of ten stealing ability. Malzone is one for one. Right-handed pull hitter. Hit and run is on. There goes Thomas. Here's the pitch to Frank Malzone. Ground ball up the middle and through. Thomas will go first to third as the hit and run works to perfection. <clears throat> so it's first and third. Red Sox looking to put some more digits up on the scoreboard. And it brings up Eddie Brasseau. He doubled in two runs in the... Top of the first two-out uprising. Pursue right-handed pull hitter. Runners in scoring position, only batting 206, though he's batting 400 off Bouton, two for five. Loves to hit early in the count. Yankees looking to turn two. They'll give up the run, it looks like, at third. Here's the pitch to Eddie Pursue. 2-2 two -two count to Pursue. Swing and a miss. Oh, Bouton expanded the zone, and Pursue went fishing. One out, double play ball, will get them out of the inning. So it's Russ Nixon at the plate. Moorhead is on deck. Nixon with runners in scoring position, only 167. Oh, he likes to hit early in the count. Looking for at least a fly ball here, deep enough to score Thomas. All strong arms in the outfield for the Yankees. Here's the pitch. Bouton to Nixon. 0-1, Nixon swings. No, the ball gets away. Racing home from third is Thomas. The throw will not be in time. And it is 5-0 Boston. Advancing to second is Frank Malzone. It's a 1-1 count to Nixon. Red Sox. Looking good so far early here in the Bronx. Blanchard pounds the mitt. Sets the target. The windup and the pitch to Nixon. 1-2 count. Swing. Oh, Nixon rips a shot down to Pepitone. He'll take it to the bag himself. Nice backhanded play by Pepitone. Advancing to third with two outs is Frank Mal Malzone. Now bring up Dave Moorhead, the pitcher, who is 0 for 1. Can he help his cause by knocking the ball through the infield and scoring Malzone? 5 nothing Boston, two outs. Malzone's at third. Bouton takes a deep breath. He rocks and deals to his counterpart, Moorhead. 2-2 two -two count. Strike three looking, and the side is retired, but the Red Sox tack up one more run. We go to the bottom of the third, 5 nothing Boston. Due up is Bouton, then the top of the order, Kubek and Richardson. Bouton batting 156, does have one ribby on the year. Moorhead deals quickly to Bouton. 1-2 count, will he return the favor to Bouton? Ground ball to Malzone, ranges to his right, throws low, scooped out of the dirt by Dr. Strangeglove. Nice play by Stewart, not known for his defense. One down, that'll bring up Tony Kubek. Kubek's 0 for 1. Moorhead trying to stay in that rhythm. The big leg kick and the pitch to Kubek. Kubek rips it down to Strangeglove, and Stewart steps on the bag. My God, he's playing like Lou Gehrig. So two outs, base is empty for Bobby Richardson. Richardson walked his first time up. Moorhead looking for a 1-2-3 inning. He rocks and deals to Richardson. 1-2 count, Richardson in the hole. Richardson, shallow fly ball, center field. Yastrzemski races in, makes the catch. And 1-2-3 go the Bronx Bombers. Top of the fourth, 5 nothing Boston. Due up top of the order once again. Deja vu all over again for the Red Sox. Jones, Canigliero, and Yastrzemski. Dalton Jones is 0 for 2. Bouton has struggled to say the least. Here's the pitch to Jones. 1-1 one, one count to Dalton Jones. Jones sends that ball right center field. On the run is Mantle, and he makes the catch. Jones just got under it a bit. One down. Here comes Tony Canigliero. 
the rookie from Massachusetts. He's 0 for 2. Currently batting 288, 13 homers, 28 ribbies. He awaits the Bouton offering. Here's the pitch to Tony C. 0 1 count. Canigliero swings a lumber, punches it towards Kubek, who ranges towards the second base bag, throws the first. That's two down. So two outs, base is empty. Top of the fourth. 5 0 Boston. Here's Carl Yastrzemski. Yaz is 1 for 1 with a walk. The pitch to Yaz. He's taking all the way. That ball looked low. They're going to say it's a strike at the knees. Yastrzemski not really liking these calls from the men in blue behind the plate. 0 1 count. Yastrzemski's average goes up to 266. Bouton in a 1 1 count. Even count. I'm sorry, ahead in the count. Gives up a 235 batting average. Yastrzemski holding the bat high. He awaits the Bouton offering. Pitch homeward bound. Full count to Yastrzemski now. Yastrzemski reached for that outside pitch. Mantle moving to his left. Makes the catch and the side is retired. Good job by Bouton to get Yastrzemski to reach. Bottom of the fourth. 5 nothing Boston. Moorhead back up on the mound. He will face Mantle, Maris, and Trash. Mickey Mantle 0 for 1. Moorhead deals to the Mick. 1-0 count. Mantle swings the stick. Ground ball. Jones has it. Throws low and Stewart scoops it out of the dirt. As Jones ranged to his left near the second base bag. Backhanded it. Pivoted but threw low. 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 Threw low. No. Low. And a nice play by Dick Stewart. One out. And here's Roger Maris, a few years removed of his 60 home runs, 61 home runs, one for one. Jones, arms down to his chest. The windup and the pitch to Roger Maris. 2-2 two -two count to Roger. Roger reached, grounds it to Jones, and he boots the ball. Oh, that should have been out number two. Dalton Jones booted the ball. He almost made an error on the throw. On Mantle, now he does. So it brings up Tom Tresh. Tresh is 0 for 1. Loves to hit off that first pitch strike if he sees it batting 545. Red Sox move to double play depth as Pursuit and Dalton Jones pinch that middle. Moorhead peaks the first. Stewart holding on Maris. He's slow. Now he deals to Tresh. 1-0. Tresh swings, ground ball back to Moorhead. Moorhead goes to second, and the relay throw is not in time, so Moorhead goes to pursue. But the hustling Tom Tresh beats out the double play ball, so it's two outs. Tresh at first, and here comes Joe Pepitone. Pepitone is 0 for 1. The pitch around will be employed by Moorhead. Will they get Pepitone to chase? They try to expand the strike zone. Pepitone will swing at the first pitch. And he sends that ball to shallow right. Tom is coming in. It's going to dink in front of him. He fires it in. And it's cut off by the second baseman. Dalton Jones. Nice piece of hitting by Pepitone. They threw the ball to the outside portion of the plate. And he just reached for it and poked it to right. So runners on the corners with two outs. And here's Johnny Doc Blanchard. Blanchard with runners in scoring position, only batting 154. The Yankees trying to get on the board here. They trail 5-0 with two outs in the bottom of the fourth. Tresh at third, Pepitone at first. The pitch to Blanchard. 1-0 to Johnny Doc Blanchard. Grounds it to Dalton Jones. He has it. He throws low again to Stewart. Stewart scoops it out of the dirt. The Yankees threaten but do not score. It was an adventure for Dalton Jones at second. But they get through it. Top of the fifth, 5-0 Boston. Bouton will face Stewart, Thomas, and Malzone. Dick Stewart, one for two with a ribby. Here's the pitch to Dr. Strangelove. 2-1 count. Stewart swings. Fly ball, deep center field. Mantle on the run. It's off the wall. It's going to be at least two for the slow-footed Stewart as he slides in with a leadoff double. He just missed a home run by six inches. So Stewart's at second. Bouton is being bludgeoned. Red Sox want to score some more runs, and here comes Lee Thomas. Let's just check out. Moorhead has thrown 54 pitches, and he was pitching not at full stamina. I think we can get one more inning out of him, and then we got Spanswick and Richie are okay. 
And Earl and Hefner are sort of okay. All right. Uh, here's Lee Thomas. He is two for two with a ribby. Runners in scoring position batting 286. Five for nine off Bouton. That's 556. He feasts on the Bouton. The pitch to Thomas. Stewart at second. No outs. One, two count. Thomas sends that ball. Left center field on the move is Trash, and he makes the catch. Stewart bluffs. You know he wasn't going. And there's one out. Now bring up Frank Malzone. Malzone bats 359 with runners in scoring position. Four for six off Bouton. The pitch to Malzone. He swings at the first offering. Malzone sends that ball. Shallow right center. Mantle coming in, coming in. He makes the catch. Again, Stewart retreats to second. So the leadoff double. One out away from being all for naught. Eddie Bursu is one for two with two ribbies. The pitch to Bursu. 2-2 two -two count to Eddie Bursu. And Bursu swinging a miss. So Bouton battles back as the Red Sox Stewart is stranded at second. Remember, he missed his homer by six inches. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Still 5 nothing Boston. A tiring Dave Moorhead goes back out onto the mound. He will face Lintz, Bouton, and Kubek. Lintz is 0 for 1. Moorhead deals quickly to Lintz. Lintz is going to swing at the full count. And that's our shot, and it's going to be gapped. Left center field. Lintz will have extra bases. Yastrzemski trying to chase it down. It's rattling around. Lintz going for third, and he'll have a leadoff triple. He's going for the inside park home run. The throw. And he beats it out. Holy cow. It's an inside the park home run by Phil Lance. Yastrzemski had trouble as that was in the left center field. Took a weird hop. And by the time Yastrzemski got the ball to the cutoff man pursue, Phil Lance runs through the stop sign. And it's now 5-1. to one. Here's the replay of an inside park home run. Lance drives that ball left center field. Yastrzemski, that ball took a funny hop. Conigliero couldn't get to it. Yastrzemski gets to it first. There's Lance. He is flying around those base pads. There's the cut. And he runs through that stop sign. Brasseau is in shock. He turns. He throws to Russ Nixon. But Phil Lance, with one heck of a slide, gets a hand in there before Nixon puts the tag on him. And it's 5-1. to one. That is worth one more replay. And inside the park homer, folks, shot to left center field. And Lance is off to the races. So a sort of boom goes the ball, and Phil Lintz touches them all. Great slide by Lintz to get that hand in there. So the fans are excited now, and here's Bouton. Moorhead deals quickly to his counterpart. 3-2 count. Don't lose him. A swing and a miss. A lot of movement on that fastball. Actually, that was he set him up with the fastball. He got him with the curve. One out, Tony Kubek. Yankees trail by four now, thanks to that Phil Lintz inside the park home run. Red Sox will go hard shift right as Kubek is a left-handed pull hitter. Here's the pitch to Tony K. One, two count to Kubek. Swing and a miss. Moorhead coming back with a fury of a vengeance. He's now struck out 58 on the year. 73 pitches, probably the last inning for Moorhead. Here's Bobby Richardson. Second baseman is 0 for 1. Spray hitter. Moorhead looking to strike out the side after the inside the park homer. He rocks and deals to Richardson. 1-2 count. Richardson in the hole. He shoots it down to Stewart, who takes it to the bag himself, and the side is retired. But Phil Lintz brought the Yankee fans to their feet for a brief moment with a leadoff inside the park homer. We go to the top of the six, 5-1 Boston. As Todd B says, the ball died at the warning track. Yes, it took a weird hop. It just, like, like stuck in the mud. Due up for the Red Sox, Nixon, Moorhead, and Dalton Jones. We're going to get someone up in the bullpen. And we're going to go with Jay Ritchie. So Jay Ritchie and Bill Spandwick will get up. Ritchie the righty, Spandwick the lefty. We would like to get one more inning out of Moorhead, but he was pitching on less than full stamina. So here's Russ Nixon. He is 0 for 1. 
the windup and the pitch from Bouton to Nixon. 1-1 one, one count to Nixon. That ball is hit right center field deep. Mantle on the run, and he makes the catch as Nixon just got under it. One down. Now bring up Dave Moorhead. He's going to go for the drag bunt. Here's the pitch. Drag bunt by Moorhead, and he fouls it off. 0-2 count. Drag bunt again. And he missed it. He strikes out. He tried to surprise them. And to his chagrin, he's going back to the bench to sit on the pine. Two outs, base is empty. Dalton Jones has made an error in the game's 0 for 3. The pitch to Jones. And he rips a shot right field. But what a catch by Roger Maris. Wow. Dalton Jones ripped that shot. Roger Maris made one heck of a running catch. Side is retired. Bottom of the six, five, one, Boston. Richie and Spanwick are ready. <clears throat> Mound visit. Moorhead says, I should be fine for this inning. We'll see how much more I can handle it. Again, Richie the righty and Spanwick the lefty both ready to go. We'll sit them down as I play with the warm-up rule. And you can tire them out. Oh. Yes. Yes. All right, here's Mickey Mantle. 0 for 2. The pitch to the Mick. Moore kicks and deals. And he rips a shot down the right field line. Thomas on the run, and he makes the catch. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. You say potato, I say potato, 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 tomato, tomato, Mickey Mantle, you are out. What a play by Lee Thomas robbing Mantle of extra bases. Roger Maris comes to the plate, one for two. Moorhead tips his cap to the right fielder, Lee Thomas. Now he deals to Roger Maris, an 0-1 count to Maris. Maris punches that ball, and it's going to drop in the left center fielder. Stremski gets to it. Maris thought about Trying for a hustle double, but the Yankees are down four, five to one. And here's Tom Tresh. Tresh is 0 for 2. Left-handed normal batter. Red Sox will try for the inning-ending double play as Brasu and Jones pinch that middle. Stewart holding on. Maris. Morehead throws the first. Maris is back. Again, Morehead peaks to first. Now looks in at Nixon. Nixon sets the target. The pitch to Trash. 2-0 count. The ball gets away as he crossed up Nixon. And Maris goes trotting down to second. First base is open. Pepitone's on deck. 3-0 count. Red Sox move back into normal depth in the infield. Here's the pitch from Moorhead to Trash one more time. 3-0. Ball four. 86 pitches. And now we better get the bullpen back up. Joe Pepitone is a left-handed batter. Spanswick should be ready. He is. Make sure Richie's still ready. And he is. So they're going to go lefty-lefty matchup as they have Pepitone, Blanchard are both lefties. Lintz is a righty. So Moorhead's day is done. Gave him all he could give him. He can only win it. He can't lose it. He's responsible for the runners at first and second. Richie will sit back down. So here's the lefty, Bill Spanswick. Two and three in the replay. 3.83 earned run average. He has no saves. He struck out 18, walked 20. He struggles with control, as you see. Against lefties, quality of pitches. Above average, 6 out of 10. Movement, 5 out of 10. But control, below average, 4 out of 10. Pepitone, left-handed pull hitter. We're going to dare Roger Maris to try to steal third. We're still going to go with a hard shift right. The pitch to Pepitone. One out, two on. Pepitone grounds it. Jones to Brasseau yeah. to Stewart. And out of the inning they go. Dalton Jones to Eddie Brasseau to Dr. Strangeglove. Pitcher's breast friend, two for one. We go to the top of the seventh. The Red Sox lead five to one.
Great job by Spanswick as he claps the glove and jogs off the mound. Due up for the Red Sox, Tony Canigliero, Carl Yastrzemski, and Dr. Strange Glove Dick Stewart to face Jim Bouton. Bouton has gone six innings, giving up five earned runs, two walks, and six Ks. Here's the pitch to Tony C, who is 0 for 3. 2-1 count to Canigliero. And Canigliero grounds it to Kubek. He's up with it. Fires to Pepitone. One down. Canigliero 0 for 4. And now bring up Captain Carl Yastrzemski. Here's the pitch to Yaz. He's taking. Likes to work the count. Inside. Finally, they don't call a strike on him. One ball, no strikes. Ahead in the count, 375. Green light for Yaz. Blanchard sets the target. Bouton rocks and deals. Yastrzemski swings. Punches it to left field. That's going to drop in front of Tresh. So Yastrzemski's now two for three. That brings up Dr. Strangeglove. He's two for three with a ribby. Just missed a homer by six inches in his last plate appearance. Pepitone holding Yastrzemski on. The pitch to Stewart. 1-1 one, one count. Stewart swings, pops it up, foul territory. Pepitone calls off Blanchard. Two away. So two outs, your strength's going to be off on contact, and it's Lee Thomas to face Jim Bouton. And the Red Sox are going to get Richie back up. So Richie's getting up, and so is Arnold early. Better to have him early than late. Two outs, your strength's at first. The pitch to Thomas. Two for three. Ball gets away. Bouton has really struggled with control here. Another wild pitch. Yastrzemski moves up to second. He's in scoring position now. Thomas batting 280 with runners in second. Five for ten off Bouton. The count is 1-0. Bouton takes a deep breath. Arms down to his chest. He rocks and fires. 2-2 two -two count now. Thomas rips that ball right center field. That's the gap shot. Yastrzemski will score from second. Thomas heading for third. Here's a second. Here's the throw. He slides in just ahead of it. And Thomas has knocked in his second run. He is now four, uh, three for four. And the Red Sox get that run back. It's now six to one Boston. So with two outs, Thomas stands at second. And that's it. Bouton has been TKO'd on the double by Lee Thomas. And Mel Stoudemire will come in the game. Stoudemire on the season. Has no record, no wins, no losses, no saves. 26 and two-thirds innings pitch, 2.36 earned run average. You better be, better be prepared to swing. 20 strikeouts and only four walks. He throws strikes, thus batters on the first pitch striker, hitting 357. Malzone bats 355 on the first pitch. Stoudemire deals to Malzone. 1-0 count for Frank. Malzone swings. Bay oh! Nice play by the third baseman, Litz. As they play Take Me Out to the Ballpark, we go to the bottom of the seventh. Five-nothing Boston. Cracker Jacks. I don't care if I ever go back for its root. Root, root for your home team. If they lose, it's a shame. For it's one. Strikes, you're out at the old ball game. So, the bottom of the seventh, the Yankees got to get their bats going. It'll be Blanchard, Lintz, and possibly a pinch hitter for the pitcher, Staldemeyer. Dave Gardner is here in the Bronx, taunting Yankee fans, saying, Let's go, Metropolitans. Check out that wonderful channel, Dave Gardner. Also check out his podcast with Uncle Ron Juckett from Retro Sports Network and HockeyTournaments.com for all your hockey tournament needs in Massachusetts, in New England, on the East Coast, in the country, and also worldwide. I poop you not, that is the truth. All right, here's Johnny Doc Blanchard. And Spanswick has thrown. Only threw that one pitch. Got that double play ball. Richie and Early are ready. They will sit back down again. We play with the warm-up rule. So Spanswick will deal to the lefty Blanchard. He's a pull hitter. Red Sox will go hard shift right in the infield. Outfield straightaway and normal. Spanswick deals to Blanchard. 3-1 count. Hitters count. Day turns the night. 
And that's our shot. Yastrzemski comes racing in, and he makes the catch in center. As the clouds have come in, maybe a chance of rain, but this is an official game. So Spansburg will now face Phil Lintz. If you're just joining us, Phil Lintz hit an inside-the-park home run. Go back later and watch it. It was insane. First time I've ever seen that in out-of-the-ballpark uh, baseball. Bobby Cantalano is here in the Bronx. Check out that wonderful YouTube channel. Wear her scissors. That was a funny video. Check it out. And also her Facebook page. Spanswick deals to Lintz. Five, a 6-1 Red Sox, excuse me. Lintz grounds it to Dalton Jones, who's been an adventure. Throws high this time to Stewart. He makes the catch. Two down. We'll be bringing in Felix Mantia soon to play second. And a replacement for Stewart as Dalton Jones and Stewart are weak links on the right side, 3 out of 10. So now Spanswick will face pinch hitter, vote for Pedro Gonzalez. Gonzalez only batting 195, no home runs, 3 ribbies. Below average contact and power, 4 out of 10. Above average eye, 6 out of 10 against lefties. He's 1 for 2 off Spanswick this year. Spanswick takes a deep breath. The pitch to Gonzalez, 1-1 one, one count to Pedro. He's going to swing the stick. And that's a shot. Yastrzemski on the run. What a catch by Yastrzemski in right center field. Unbelievable. Yastrzemski. Unbelievable. That is going to be a possible catch of the season. Holy cow. In the words of the late great Phil Rizzuto. Let's watch that again. Pedro Gonzalez gave it a rip. Yastrzemski off on his horse. Right center field. This looks like a triple. Look at Yastrzemski laying out. Full sprint, and that is out number three. That's the way it should be. We go to the top of the eighth, 6-1 to one Boston. It'll be Bursu, Nixon, and Spanswick, probably a pinch hitter for Spanswick. Stan Williams is in the game, third Yankee pitcher. Stan Williams is a right-handed tosser. Quality of pitches for is 6 out of 10, movement 6 out of 10, control below average 4 out of 10. He is in the replay, one and two in the replay. No saves. Earned run average, 2.61. He throws strikes, 26 Ks, only eight walks. The pitch to Eddie Bursu, how do you do? Bursu is one for three with two ribbies. He's doubled today. The pitch. Bursu swings, ground ball right side. Richardson moves to the right, throws to first, one down. Now bring up Russ Nixon. Nixon pinwheels the bat. Nixon is 0 for 2. Stan Williams picks up the sign from Johnny Doc Blanchard. Here's the pitch. 0-2 count. Nixon in the hole. And he lo Oh! Just past the lunge of the shortstop Kubek. Spanswick will not hit. We will go to Felix Mantilla Bay. And let's get Jay Ritchie back up. And Arnold Early. And Felix Mantia will bat for Spanswick and stay into play second. Horton will come into play first as he's a much better defensive first baseman than Dr. Strangelove, Dick Stewart. So here's Felix Mantia. Mantia batting 269, 12 home runs, 31 ribbies. Against right-handed pitching, 6 out of 10 contact, 9 out of 10 power, 6 out of 10 eye. 1 for 1 off Williams, and it was a home run. Can he go 2 for 2? The pitch from Williams to Mantia. 1 out, runner at first, Russ Nixon. 2-2 two -two count. Swing and a miss! So that 364 batting average as a pinch hitter does not hold up. Williams gets his revenge. As Mantilla's only at bat prior was a home run off Williams. So two outs. Nixon's at first. He'll be off on contact. Dalton Jones is 0 for 4. Was robbed of extra bases on an excellent catch by Marison right down the line. I think we're going to pinch hit. We're going to give uh, Horton, a, Tony Horton, a at bat here. He's going to come into play first anyway. Let's give Tony. Or, oh, did we go to Dick Williams? Williams has a little pop in his bat. Hmm. Dick Williams will get the call. 
6 out of 10 power. If he runs into something, he can jack it out. Only batting 163, but has two homers and three ribbies. Contact, poor, 3 out of 10. Power, 6 out of 10. I, 5 out of 10 against right-handed pitching. Here's the pitch. Williams will take. Stewart doesn't give up much early. And that's a ball. Look at the movement on that. One ball, no strikes. Williams, 267 average. One behind the count. Uh, wow, it's Williams versus Williams. I just noticed that. That's pretty funny. And Dick Williams, 250. He gets the green light. One, two count. Dick Williams in the hole. Swing and a miss. Strike three. The side is retired. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Six to one, Boston. So Mantilla will stay in to play second. Dick Williams, I don't think he can play first. I know he's a pretty decent third baseman. Where's Dick Williams? There he is. Uh, oh, he can play first. He's a six. Well, Dick Williams, the heck with it. He's gonna. He can, he's an eight and left. Wow. And he's a six. We might just leave Williams in because I think Horton is Horton's a seven though uh, Horton will come in to play first Williams struck out in his pinch hitting appearance so we've strengthened our defense Stewart is out I mean so the pitcher now who do we have coming you got lefty righty switch hitter and we're gonna go with Jay Ritchie, and he'll he'll be batting cleanup, but that's a okay. As we wanted those defensive sus substitutions, we can pinch hit for him anyway, and he's gonna pitch. So a lot of movement will give you. Oh, sorry, Arnold. There we go. Yes. All right. So Mantia comes in for Dalton Jones. You can see the improvement on the right side now. They went from threes to sevens. Mantia 7 out of 10 at 2nd. Horton 7 out of 10 at 1st. Jay Ritchie is on the mound. Ritchie is 3-2 and two with a 2.98 earned run average. Striking out 32, walking 22. And he has two saves. Non-save situation, but every win is important for the 64 Red Sox. Their record currently stands at 25-33. and 33. Have a little mini winning streak. And they've passed the Yankees who... In a replay, I've struggled. In reality, they went to the World Series, their last good team in the 60s, but they're 24 29. So, Kubek, Richardson, and Mantle to face Jay Ritchie. Solid pitcher, though he is uh, has possibly injury prone. Uh, 6 out of 10 for quality of pitches and movement control, excellent. 7 out of 10. Kubek. Left-handed pull hitter. The Red Sox will go hard shift right in the infield. Once again, Malzone playing short almost. Well, he is playing short even though he's a third baseman. Pursuit to the right of the second base bag. Richie deals to Kubek. Full count to Tony Kubek. And he tries to go the other way. Shallow fly ball. Canigliero makes the catch. As Kubek flies to shallow left and Tony C trying to beat the shift. One down, Red Sox, five outs away. They'll bring up Bobby Richardson. He is 0 for 2. Richie deals quickly to Richardson. 1 2 count. Base hit up the middle. So one out, one on. Single to center for Richardson. They'll bring up Mickey Mantle. Mantle 0 for 3. Red Sox move to double play depth. And getting back up in the pen is Arnold Early, the left-handed pitcher. Richie peaks to first. Horton holding on, Richardson. Now he deals to Mickey Mantle. Full count to Mickey Mantle. Mickey Mantle sends that ball. High to right center. And Thomas makes the catch. Oh, Mantle just got under it a bit. Gave enough. Uh, uh, time for Thomas to race to right center and make the catch. Another fine play by the Boston Red Sox right fielder Lee Thomas to the chagrins of the Bronx Bombers fans here at Yankee Stadium, the house that Ruth built. Early is ready. Will we bring him in to face Maris as it's lefty switch hitter, lefty, lefty. 
He's tired, though. We're going to give Richie a chance to get out of this inning. I shouldn't say early's tired, but he's pitching on less than full stamina. Here's the pitch. To Maris from Richie. One, two, count. Maris in the hole. Ground ball slowly to Malzone. Malzone fires to Horton. Wow, what a gun by Frank, and the side is retired. We go to the top of the ninth. Six to one Boston. It will be Canigliero. Yastrzemski and Richie. I'd like to buy a vowel, please. To face Stan Williams. Canigliero's 0 for 4. The pitch from Williams. 2-0 count. Tony C swings the boomstick. And he rips a double down the left field. Oh, it might not be a double. Canigliero. No, he thought better of it. Trish got over there quite quickly. Quite quickly. Quite quickly. Quite quickly. Quickly. Speak of the English, Al. Anyway, Tony C picks up his first hit. 1 for 5. I'll bring up Carl Yastrzemski. 2 for 3. Hit and run. Here's the pitch to Yaz. There goes Canigliero. Yastrzemski swings and he sends that ball deep. And gone! On the hit and run. Over the leap of Tresh. As Tresh went leaping, but that ball was out of here. Well, 404. That's pretty deep that way. But Tresh took a leap, but it was well over his glove. And it is now 8-1 to one as Tony Canigliero greets Yastrzemski. And they go happily to the dugout. Let's watch that magnificent shot by Yastrzemski. He goes the other way. Boom. Look at Tresh. He gets back to that wall quickly. He made the leap. But it's over his glove. As that ball just kept carrying up, up, and away like a beautiful balloon. He thought he had a shot at it. And it's 8-1 to one. Red Sox. One more time. You can see the animation's absolutely excellent here. Tresh racing back. He leaps. I thought he was going to rob him, but they're telling me it's 404. So that was pretty well out of the ballpark. I know it's deeper there uh, to left center. And it's 8 to 1 Red Sox. And we're going to let Richie hit. Why the hell not? Here's the pitch to Jay Richie, who's batting 0 0 0. He's 0 for 3. 2 2 count. Will Richie pick up his first hit? No. Strike 3 looking. And we're going to get Arnold Early back up in the pen just in case. And here's Lee Thomas, three for four with two ribbies. The pitch to Thomas. Full count to Lee Thomas. Will he pick up his fourth hit? No, he walks, though. So one out, two outs, runner at first. Pepitone playing behind Thomas with an 8-1 deficit. Here's the pitch to Frank Malzone, who's two for four. Strike three. And Malzone yeah. goes down looking. Out number two, Eddie Brissou comes to the plate. Hit and run for Brissou, who's one for fourth, two ribbies. Red Sox looking to pour it on. Ground ball, Kubek ranges to his left, throws to first, and the side is retired. The Yankee bench did not like that they put a hit and run on, eight to one. And uh, Yastrzemski gives him a raspberry. We go to the bottom of the ninth. Yankees down by seven. Boston three outs away from going 26 and 33. Yankees will drop to 24 and 29 if the Red Sox can get these three final outs. Richie is back up on the mound. He threw 21 pitches in the bottom of the eighth. Early is ready. So you have righty, lefty, lefty, and a righty. Let's have Richie. Early will sit for the moment. Pitch to Lopez. Lopez, right-handed pull hitter, batting 191, four homers, 12 ribbies, 5 out of 10 contact, 6 out of 10 power, 5 out of 10 eye. Red Sox will shift left in the infield, outfield straight away in normal. The pitch from Richie to Lopez, 1-0 count. Lopez swings the stick, goes the other way. Horton has it, the only man on the right side, and he steps on the bag, one down. And here comes Joe Pepitone. Red Sox... We'll go hard shift right. They employ the hard shift right in the infield. Outfield straight away in normal. Mound visit. Richie's psyched. He says, I still got the juice. Here's the pitch to Pepitone. 0-2 count. Pepitone in the hole. Richie looking for the K. Ground ball to Horton. He has it. Takes it to the bag himself. Rinse and repeat. Two down. Red Sox one out away. Fans start to file out. 
here in the Bronx in the house that Ruth built. And it brings up Johnny Doc Blanchard. 0 for 3. Left-handed pull hitter. Again, the hard shift right employed by the Red Sox. Infield, outfield, straightaway, and Norma. Richie takes a deep breath, a little smile on his face. The wind-up and the pitch to Blanchard. 2-2 count to Johnny Doc Blanchard. Strikes him out, outside corner, and the ball game is over. The Red Sox thump the Yankees in the house that Ruth built. There is no joy in the Bronx tonight. 8-1 to one Boston. Wow. Let's go to the final box score, as that was a thumping. Player of the game. Let's see what the player of the game is. Oops, what the hell happened there? Okay. Player of the game. Player of the game, Carl Yastrzemski. Let's see why Captain Carl was player of the game. Yastrzemski, three for four. Three runs scored, two ribbies, a walk, and a homer. He's now batting 282 with six homers and 34 ribbies. In our Tony Canigliero watch, he was one for five with a run scored, now batting 289, 13 homers, and 28 ribbies. We'll go through the full box scores in a moment. Let's do the pitching first. For the victorious Boston Red Sox, Moorhead evens his record to 500 at 5 and 5. He threw five and a third innings on less than full stamina, so he gutted it out. Four hits, one run. It was earned that inside the park home run, which was wild by Lentz. Walked two, struck out three. Spanswick won an inning and two thirds, gave up nothing, and Richie pitched the last two innings, gave up one hit, and struck out one. Taking the loss is Jim Boughton. He's now three and eight. He went six and two thirds innings, ten hits, six runs, all of them earned, two walks, six Ks. Stoudemire pitched a third of an inning, and Stan Williams. Pitched two innings, three hits, two runs. They were both earned. One walk, four Ks. The two runs coming off the bat and the home run by Carl Yastrzemski. Dalton Jones was 0 for 4. The pinch hitter, uh, Dick Williams, was 0 for 1. Both of them struck out once. Horton came in to play first defensively, did not hit. Tony Kinniglier, as we stated, 1 for 5 with a run scored. Yastrzemski, player of the game, 3 for 4, 3 runs, 2 ribbies, a walk, and a home run. Dr. Strangelove, Dick Stewart, 2 for 4, a run scored, and a ribby. Richie was 0 for 1, the pitcher. Lee Thomas had a good game, 3 for 4, 2 runs scored, 2 ribbies, and a walk. Malzone, 2 for 5 with a run scored, struck out once. Eddie Bursu, 1 for 5 with 2 ribbies, struck out twice. Russ Nixon was 1 for 3 with a walk. Moorhead, 0 for 3 and 3 Ks. Spanswick, pitch did not hit. And Felix Mantilla struck out in his pinch hitting uh, at bat, but stayed in to play second. Red Sox in victory, 40 at bats, 8 runs, 13 hits, 7 ribbies, 3 walks. They struck out 10 times. Now to the New York Yankees. They only had five hits. We're going to give you the hits. Richardson was one for three. Maris was two for four. Pepitone, one for four. And Lintz, one for three. Knocked in the only run. Scored the only run on that wild inside the park home run. Everyone else was an offer. The Yankees did strike out four times. Kubek, Tresh, Blanchard, and Boughton. The Yankees in defeat, 32 at-bats, one run, five hits, one ribby, two walks, and four Ks. Red Sox record improves to 26 and 33. The Yankees drop to 24 and 30. They have struggled in this retro replay. Red Sox starting to get a little hot here. And let's leave that game. And let's play the rest of the day. And then look at the standings. Oh, crap. We had a doubleheader. Son of a gun. I didn't see that. Let's see if we lost the double. Oh, that stinks. That's a first game I will not play in the doublehead in this replay. I did not. Oh, man. Let's go back a day. That's. And we lost the second game of the doubleheader. Actually, we hung in. Uh, we lost seven to six. Mambo Ket took the loss. Ford got the win. Stafford got the save. Player of the game, Tony Kubek. So I did not see that. And we lost. So we split the doubleheader with the Yankees. 
which stinks. That's the first game I have not played in the Retro Replay. But the PC played it out pretty well, I guess. All right. I wanted to get to the standings, so let's look at the standings. White Sox still lead the American League by a half game over the Twins and two over the Tigers, two over the Orioles. The Indians only four and a half back, the Angels seven, Yankees nine and a half, Red Sox 11, Washington Senators 15 and a half back, and the Kansas City Athletics dead last 19 back. In the National League, the Braves with a seven game lead over the Dodgers, eight over the Pirates, eight over Cincinnati, nine and a half over the Giants, 10.5 over the Phillies, 11 over the Cubs, and the Cardinals, who actually won the National League in 64 and the World Series, 15.5 back, just like the Mets, and the Colt 45s, who will be known in the future as the Houston Astros, 20 games back. So the Red Sox and the Yankees split. We win the game we played. The PC Engine loses 7-6 to six in the nightcap. As I did not see, I clicked on finish the day, and as I did that, I looked over, and it was a double header. Let's go back here. And Red Sox have the Yankees again. Let's just take a quick look. These might not be the actual pitching matches up you matchups. You have to go to manage. And it will be Earl Wilson and Al Downing. I don't know if we'll show that one on the channel. But that's the next matchup. We split a doubleheader. We won the game we actually played, and we lost when it was simmed. Again, my faux pas. I did not look over. In these seasons, when you play these 60 seasons, you got to look over. There's a ton of doubleheaders, especially if there's rainouts. All right. Well, I hope everyone enjoyed that. Red Sox win in game one of the doubleheader, 8-1. to one. The game we simmed, they lose, lost 7-6. to six. Thank you to uh, Todd B., Bobby Cantalano, check out her wonderful Facebook page and YouTube channel. Dave Gardner, please check out his YouTube channel and the podcast with Uncle Ron Juckett and HockeyTermans.com. And also check out Retro Sports Network and Sports Time Machine, who will be disappointed as he's a Yankee fan. And Midwest Sports, thank you very much, as well as Mike, the Indians card dude. As he thought I was ripping cards. Well, no, I wasn't. Alrighty. So health and happiness. Till next time, watch out for that curveball in the dirt. Don't chase out of the zone. God bless, and you know it's coming, folks. Peace!